Footage obtained by News Nation showing a Russian soldier throwing a grenade at a Ukrainian bunker. News Nation's Evan Moon tracking the very latest for us live in Washington tonight. Evan. That's right, Natasha. Just as Ukraine is gearing up for a big counteroffensive here, there's mixed messages coming from the Russian side. And all this just days before a big celebration is set to take place in Moscow. 48 hours ahead of Russia's annual Victory Day celebrations, a very different picture playing out across the border in Ukraine. An about face from the leader of the Wagner military group, backpedaling on a promise Friday to take Russian troops out of Bakhmut this week. My guys will not be taking useless, unjustified losses in Bakhmut without ammunition. Now, today, Yevgeny Prigozhin saying troops will receive more ammo and continue the fight there. Across Ukraine, the war rages on. Missile strikes increase. Reports of Ukraine striking Russia's Crimea region with 10 drone attacks today. And news of the downing of a hypersonic missile launched against Kyiv by Russian troops, shot down by a U.S.-made Patriot air defense missile, a feat potentially showing Ukraine is now able to thwart one of Moscow's most feared weapons. The fighting from far and near. New video shows how close the battle has gotten. Gunfire and grenades thrown just feet from their Ukrainian targets. And a dire warning from the United Nations this weekend. The UN's nuclear watchdog stating the situation around Ukraine's Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is increasingly unpredictable and potentially dangerous. Going on to say in a statement, we must act now to prevent the threat of a severe nuclear accident and its associated consequences for the population and the environment. The plant in southeastern Ukraine is Europe's largest nuclear power station, seized by Russian forces early on in Moscow's invasion. Russia now evacuating areas around the nuclear plant. Ukrainian President Zelensky warning of the risks within days of initial invasion. The longer the Russian occupation of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant continues, the greater will be the threat to the security of Ukraine, the whole of Europe and the world. All of this just days after an alleged drone attack at the Kremlin, which Russian officials claim to be an assassination attempt on Russian President Putin. The U.S. and Ukrainian officials denying the allegations. And again, Natasha, we still don't know when Ukraine plans to launch that major counteroffensive there. But as you saw from that new video, the war continues to rage on there. Okay, Evan Moon live for us in D.C. Thank you so much. And still to come, we are keeping the spot.